but Ayurveda is actually one of the old, uh, the world's oldest holistic and integrative health systems. It's a science that combines the knowledge of science, the laws of nature, the human body, psychology, spirituality, and philosophy. So it really is a, a, a holism, a journey of balance to bring the mind, body, spirit back into more of a balanced state. But to me, Ayurveda is really about cultivating a deeper understanding about yourself because when you learn the Vedic way, when you learn about Ayurveda and applying it to your life because it's an embodied practice, you really start to understand yourself and how you function and how you work and how you can bring out the best in you and step into your higher self. So it offers tools and principles of knowledge for good health but you're the one that gets to ter- determine when, what, and how you apply these in order to create the perfect balance for you. Interesting. And so it's overall a school of living, really. It's not even a school of medicine or health or wellness. It seems like it's just an overall conscious existence kind of uh, kind of practice. And so where did it come from? Because nowadays with the internet, everything is everywhere, right? There's Ayurvedic individuals in America, in Australia, and and probably everywhere in between. But is there any one particular geographic location or culture that kind of stemmed this school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will just go back on what you said, like Ayurveda is like the art of living. And that's pretty much exactly what the word means. So the word Ayurveda, Aya means life and the Veda is the science of or the knowledge of. So it's often translated to the science and knowledge of life and longevity. So you're spot on there. (laughs) And yeah, Ayurveda stems from India. So it's the ancient health science from India. It's also the sister science of yoga. So Ayurveda really looks at that health path of like the physical, mental, spiritual, all of the things that encompass who we are as a holism. And yoga was sort of more seen as like that pathway to enlightenment through through spirituality and asana practice, but they have they they use together. There's actually the three sciences. So there's the um, Jyotish astrology as one, the Ayurveda health science, and then the yoga, the science of yoga. And the three of them bring you into moksha liberation. If you enjoyed this clip, you will love the full episode I did with Harmony, where we talk more about Ayurveda, women's health, the state of health overall in society, and a whole lot more. So click the link in the description, check it out, and I'll see you over there.